How Kimosabe, we Adam Goodywill. What you got him for me today, Goody Will? What you got him for me today? My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf and I am at a, what they say is a huge church garage sale. Being that it's a church garage sale, I'm kind of hoping that like, uh, we can get some cheap stuff here. I hope they have some vintage toys modern toys like cool ones <laughs> why did i laugh like that <laughs> anyway uh that's my nervous laugh of not knowing what to expect uh but yeah so anyway we're gonna keep our fingers crossed and this is the perfect place to pray and we're gonna pray 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 that the vintage garage church garage sale gr church garage sale man it's a tongue for church garage so church garage sale gods are good to me today Oh, I got a big drum set. I ain't seeing any toys though. Lots of books. Let's see what do we got over here? Kids World Almanac. All right, well, they didn't have anything in there. That uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild, uh, they wanted 40 bucks for it. And that's what they sell for on eBay. I have a feeling they kind of looked up most of that stuff and saw what eBay prices were and listed them at that. So, you know, it's Saturday and uh, there's probably some other garage sales, yard sales around. So I'm gonna look at my app, see if there's anything else we can hit up. If not, we'll definitely hit up them, hit up some thrift stores. So wherever I end up, I will see you there. All right, gang, we are here. I have to wait for this car to pass. But uh, said it was a big fundraiser yard sale. It's a giant yard sale, is what it said. So I see there's a lot of people down here. Let's see if we can find us something. it again they didn't have anything there just a lot of puzzles and books and little crappy things you know all right well I still, I'm just kind of freestyling today guys I don't even really have an agenda we might go hit up craptastic Sam's it's about 10 minutes up the road 
if that so i might hit that up or i might drive around this neighborhood and see if there's any other like yard sales piggybacking off of this one so all right well i'll see you wherever i end up all right gang i just Goodies. All right, gang, it's time to hit up a thrift store. Gonna keep our fingers crossed and pray, 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 pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. When we're done here, we might uh, we might hit up another thrift store or we might just kind of like roam around and look for yard sales. It's kind of fun, right? Just freestyling it, as they say on American Pickers. We be freestyling. All right, let's see, what do we got in here? Well, look at that elephant. Couple of Triceratops, Superman, whatever her name is from the Mermaid. There's the Fisher Price Ogre, and there's a Boba Fett clock. All right, well, let's see. What do we got over here? What's this? Dune Tracker. Assuming that's some sort of remote control, but man, that's like 1990s colorful. I was looking to see if there was a year on it. What's this thing? Titano. Is this like a, uh, is this like for Roblox or something? J-Wares. Huh. Interesting. Never seen that one before. Alright, let's see what we can find in these baggies. These bags are really picked over. There's not going to be much here. I mean, there could be something. But we don't have a lot to actually look through. I like that little cap gun in there. There wasn't much in the baggy section, so let's see what we can find on the shelves. There's a Jurassic Park dino. We got an Imagine Next pirate ship. Is this like Stuart Little? Okay. It's a remote control car. It's missing a tire. It's kind of neat though. What do we got down here? Shell up. Oh, that's cool. Look how that shot out the back. Set. It's got Anubis on it. 
What is that? It's got this room with the ancient pyramid. Look like looks like an underwater palace. It's got an observatory. Something from the Greeks or the Romans, maybe? Huh. What's this? Aesop's Fables. That looks like an old book. Oh, that picture of that lion there was kind of cool. Let's see if I can find it again. It was in color. Oh, there it is. To Sarah from Bud, 1991. First printing, 1990. Well, first printing was 1947, then we got 1990. Huh. That's kind of cool. They only want a buck 99 for it. As cool as this thing is, I'm just going to leave it here for somebody else. I do like it. I just don't really have a need for it. Well, this looks interesting. The Great Bear Scare. Never heard of that cartoon. Also featuring with Tom Smothers fully animated video cassette. I might pick that up just because it's got the spooks on it here. Okay, guys, I'm not getting anything real exciting, but I'm going to pick up the Aesop's Fables book. I like the cover. I look, looked at some of the stories in there. I think it's something I would enjoy. Um, so I'm going to get Aesop's Fables and then also this VHS, The Great Bear Scare. Never seen it. Looking forward to watching it. All right. I got them. <laughs> Woo! Big score. All right. Again, we're just freestyling. So I'm going to drive around, see if I can find something else that we can get into. Maybe some yard sales. Get in there and get our hands dirty rummaging through other people's junk finding vintage toys all right guys let's see what we can do oh, hey i decided to stop in at big lots because i had to use the restroom figured i'd check out the toy section there wasn't a whole lot i mean the coolest thing here is this uh flying fist he-man we went 15 bucks for it i think initially wasn't he like 21 or 22 dollars or something like that so it's not that big of a discount but uh, check this out. I'm gonna pick this up for five bucks. I think it's cool. Toxic waste, hazardously sour candy, the world's coolest. So I'm gonna pick this up. There's um, they got some other stuff here like this thing, and they got uh, where did I see it? Oh yeah, they got some Masters of the Universe Matchbox cars. But other than that. I really don't have anything here. So, I'm gonna pay for this, and off we go. All right, gang, we are at the Goody Wheel. <laughs> what you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Hopefully you'll have some vintage toys like that time that I scored that Mighty Max play set in here. That was epic. I loved, loved it, man. I love that play set, it's so cool. Um, yeah, let's head in here and see what we can do. All right, all right, all right. What do we got? Mr. Potato Head. Big bag of plush. like Spike from Heathcliff, even though it's not. Vintage school bus is here from the last time I was here. Probably because the stickers and stuff are all ripped off it. Look at this little igloo that all glows. That's awesome. That's really cute. Hey, let me see if it actually works. Let's plug it in here. I guess maybe it needs a bulb, unless these things are 
not working. It's cute though. <laughs> Look at this. Nun bowling. It's got like a little marble. And then these little nuns. Hey, check it out. You guys would not believe how long I sat here trying to stand these up. I kept knocking them over, like literally like 10 minutes trying to get these all set up just for this few second camera shot. But those are kind of neat. I think I might actually pick those up. Never seen anything like it and I think it's kind of fun. Plus the marble is gorgeous. Actually, you know what? I don't need this. It's just more junk that's just gonna sit there. Let's try to stick with the vintage toys. All right, busted at the goody wheel. Let's go hit something else up. All right, guys, I just found another garage sale, so let's go see what they got. Honestly, I mean, all this is, yeah, at the very end, if something doesn't sell, I would rather, and we have a lot left today, but it was uh, one that I think where I was like, all right, so this is the only thing I found. I have no idea if it's vintage or not, but, the fact that it has an Indian on it because like they're removing a lot of this stuff out of society because it's racist, you know? So I got it. And uh cool thing is it was free. Everything at this yard sale was free. They didn't have much love though. There wasn't a whole lot of stuff there, but I did find this. There was another one, but it was ripped and damaged. So I left it behind, but it's very colorful. It's going to look great in the bunker. All right. Well, let's go. Let's see what else we can get our hands into. I'll probably definitely hit up a, a Goodwill or another thrift store before we call today, but I'm just kind of cruising around right now, just looking for gar garage sale and yard sale signs. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Maybe we find a few more. All right, well, I made a quick pit stop at Walmart. Uh, when I was in Pennsylvania, I bought this Ted DiBiase while I was there. He was on clearance, and I noticed they have clearance here on this rack as well. And I found this Mankind figure, which looks really awesome. So... I'm gonna go ahead and get this. I think it's 1350. I mean, I think. I took a picture of it, that way I can show them at the front. It said 1350, just in case they try to ring it up at regular price, but how cool is he? I love that, man. Freaking awesome. All right, so I'm gonna pay for this and we will continue on our adventure. All right, I got him for 1350. It was 1461 with tax, but it rang up regular price. It rang up like $22 with tax or something like that. So I had taken the picture. I think it was actually, might've been for Ultimate Warrior. Um, I'm not 100%, but anyway, I showed her the picture and I said, hey, look, it says 1350. She didn't ask, she didn't ask any questions. She just came over and did a price override for me. So how cool is that? I got Mankind for 1461 with tax. All right, now we're gonna go hit up some other stores or garage sales. Again, wherever the day takes us. How Kimosabe, we Adam Goody Will. <laughs> what you got him for me today, Goody Will? What you got him for me today? <laughs> All right, let's head in there and see what kind of goodies they got. Let him, let him us go in there and see what kind of goodies they have got. All right, what do we got on the shelves today? Uh, we got a Optimus Prime. Oh, this, this piece is still here. And so is this one from the last time we were here, which was like a week ago. Oh, look, we got Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I don't have that one. All right, well, we're not picking up, up anything like really super significant, but I'm still having fun. I hope you're having fun too. And uh, it's nice to have Ferris Bueller in the collection now. So, all right, guys, I'm gonna start heading home, but on the way home, there's, I don't know, there's a couple of thrift stores that we might hit up or a garage sale. Again, I have, I'm just, just going I'm, I'm i'm a loose cannon today guys i'm a loose cannon today i don't know what i'm doing i'm just doing whatever whatever the hell i want to do so let's uh let's head home and i'm sure we'll stop somewhere so wherever i stop i'll see you there all right gang we're at another goodwill yeah baby 
What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? So we're gonna hit this place up and then we are gonna call it a day. I'm looking for my keys. We're gonna call it a day over at Craptastic Sam's. You know, Plaza Thrift. Let's see, what is it? Car keys. The hell did I do with my keys? Here they are. <laughs> They're right on the seat. All right, guys. But like I was saying, we're gonna hit this place up and then we're gonna go hit up Plaza Thrift and call it a day over there. So let's try to finish strong at these last two places. Well, what do we have on the shelves today? saw this here the other day oh, this dude is still here as well too bad he didn't have his hand i would definitely snag him hmm looks like we got a noah's art down here a little people noah's art uh maybe some sort of like baseball gear catcher's mask oh look at this guy Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I'm definitely going to pick that up. That is awesome. Look at this fire truck. It's from 1995. I only have one fire truck in my whole collection, and it's a really big one with a ladder. It's remote control. It's awesome. It's from like 1985 or 86. This one's kind of neat, but I'm just going to leave it here. Oh, look, we got quite a few Tiggers in here. At least a couple. This one talks. He's got, like, batteries and stuff. This one's just, like, laying on a tree branch or something. Look at this creepy-ass clown. He's made out of porcelain. And he's got his little stand. I guess maybe this one makes noise. Oh, yeah. Normally, I don't see the little cheapy ones making noise like that. Yeah. All right. We got the snake. We got him for a dollar. So, I think he's pretty cool. Go good with my Indiana Jones stuff. But, uh, I don't know if you heard that kid. He's like, hey, are you recording a video? I said, yeah. He goes, yeah, I think I've seen your videos. I was like, oh, you have? Yeah, yeah, I think I've seen you. I said, oh, I said, uh, my channel's 80s Toys Rock. Go by Burf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he goes, my phone's in the car or else I'd give you a subscribe. So <laughs> I'm like, you're just making all that up, kid. <laughs> I think you just made that whole thing up that you think you've seen my videos. So, I don't know. Anyway. Um, thought it was funny. All right. Up next, Crappy Sam's. Let's head that way and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, gang. We're here. And I got my keys in hand this time. All right. Let's head in here and make the final stop the most epic stop. Oh, what do we got? Looks like we got some Disney stuff in there. Some more Disney. Grogu, some, some sort of Play-Doh stuff. And some Lego, but that's about it. All right, let's go check the shelves. What do we got here? We got a fire truck die cast car and some junk. What do we got here? We got a smart bot. And who's this guy? Oh, we got Thanos. Oh, we got another Jeep that is supposed to make noise. It's got a little button, but it's not working. Oh, look at this thing. Some sort of robot dog or something. This must be the remote control for it. And we got like a little train 
play set. This wrist game with the big tin. That's cool. Oh. Got the full map. It folds up into like a little square. That's neat. Assuming all your game pieces are in here, you got your cards. That's yeah, just a little, little different. Oh, here's a uh, TMNT sewer playset. I think I actually have this at the house somewhere. Okay, now it's time to rummage through some bags. Got a mini mouse. Look at that, we got some giant teeth in there. Like those clapping teeth. Maybe a transformer? And a Fortnite action figure. Hey, it's Piglet. Like a croquet ball or something. Hey, isn't that a Dale Earnhardt's car? What do we got here? Oh, Cabbage Patch Kid something in the backpack oh, it's like a banana with licorice coming out of it it's weird oh, there's a pat benatar record for five bucks promises in the dark fire and ice just like me precious time it's a tough life take it any way you want it evil genius hard to believe helter skelter hmm. Might pick that up. Look at this one here. Asia. I like the cover. Okay, guys, I just went through all these records and I've pulled out some good ones. Uh, I got Pat Benatar. It's got like fire and ice and all that stuff on it. Promises in the dark. Got Asia. I did some uh, listening of uh, on YouTube to make sure, you know, that these songs were like something I would enjoy. I never really listened to Asia. Well, let me back up. I listened to Asia without knowing that I listened to Asia. <laughs> I didn't know the name of the group, but I knew the songs. So got that. And then uh, also got this 38 special. How cool is that? I don't know if that's, uh, is that somebody's signature maybe? I don't know, it's 10 bucks for that one though. Seven, it's about $20 in records. I'm gonna grab these. All right, well, hey, you know, we didn't get any toys, but I think we had a pretty good finish here. Pat Benatar, Asia, 38 special. Would have been nice if they were like $1.99 an album, but still some cool records. Well, hey, if you're enjoying watching this content as much as I'm enjoying making it for you, do me a favor, smash the like button. That helps me out. It does help my channel grow. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I got a lot more great content coming your way and tons of videos you can start binge watching right now, starting with this next video. I know you're going to love it.